Hi, in this video today we want to talk about the limits that LibreOffice Calc have about columns, rows and cells. So in every cell we can enter uh, 32,767 characters. Okay, so if I'm writing here, I can continue like that for that much. Okay, if uh, the space is not uh, possible here, I can use that tool or I can change the font in order to fit everything like I need. Okay, so this is the limit per cell, per every cell here. And we have row one, two, and so on. How many rows we can have? We can have 1,048,576 rows. Let's go to the last row by this hyperlink. Okay, so now we are on the last row. Okay, you can see here, if I want to insert another row, I can do that. So let's go, let's press Ctrl Home, let's go back. So we have seen the last row, we have seen the first row, this is the first column. How many columns are there? There are 1024 columns in total. And also we can insert here, you can see uh, here in the bottom, I can insert a new sheet very quick. How many sheets? 10,000 sheets. Okay, so this is the limit. There is an experimental uh, option in LibreOffice. So let's see this much better. So we have an experimental option in LibreOffice, we can increase from um, 1 million rows to 16, 60, 16 millions rows and from 1000 columns to 16,000 columns. How we can do that? Um, but you need to remember that this is experimental for the moment so let's go to tools options libreoffice advanced and from here enable experimental feature apply restart uh, let's save and now let's reopen our document let's go to options LibreOffice Calc and here in defaults we have enable very large spreadsheets 60 million rows 60,000 columns okay but I will not enable that because it's crashing in this version okay so in this version 7.0.1.2 it's I will get a crash. I I can open this uh, file anymore. So I will show you that in the next um, version, last, in the next uh, week. Okay. So these are the limits. Uh, one more thing I want to show you. For example, uh, let's go to the last row. And I want to came here very quick. I want this area to be, I don't know, cities. And I want here to have an area with cities and I don't know something. I can select this area and here rename it like cities, enter. And now uh, from navigator here I have last row. I can go very quick there, cities. I go to this selection or I can go, for example, to this area. I can rename it experimental and now if I want to move to the last row experimental cities I can move very quick
from this navigator okay so you can press um, you can see here navigator f5 or f11 f11 and i have navigator range names okay very easy okay uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video thank you